In this digital drawing tutorial, you'll see how to draw a tiger. I'll teach you how to draw fur patterns using the lasso tool and will show you how to use the pen tool, clipping mask, layer mask and how to add colors to your drawing. You can download the template file that I've made for you to be able to follow this tutorial. After this video, you'll be able to draw animals with detailed fur and also use tips that I'll show you today for any drawings that you'll create. You are watching TNT Tutorials? Let's move on! If you want additional exclusive content or simply support my channel, feel free to join me on Patreon. With these sketches, I want to encourage you to take your time and make researches for anything that you're going to draw. For example, when you're going to draw a tiger, find as many references as you can. Make a breakdowns. School can show you things that are invisible behind the fur. You can understand where to put a shadow later on your drawing, and this will make your tiger look more 3D. Also, you can take a look at the tiger school as on a base shape, which is extremely important. Drawing school from a different angles allows you to really understand shapes, but keep in mind that this is not enough to simply watch on references. This won't give you anything in this case. Always draw, that's the key. If you have any requests on what you're struggling with, let me know in the comments below. I always answer and find ways to help you in my tutorials. To install keyboard shortcuts and action that I'll use today, follow the instructions below this video. You can also join me on Patreon and simply download ready action and shortcuts. If you're going to create a poster, enter size in millimeters. Use other values as you can see here. Create a new layer for silhouette, choose any dark color and fill this layer. For those who'll use my actions and my shortcuts, with fill action selected, press Ctrl or Command plus F. At the bottom of the layers panel, click here to add layer mask. Pick the lasso tool, with my shortcuts press S, by default press L. To make your life easier, download Keyboard Shortcuts Guide for free by the link in the video description. I will use my keyboard shortcuts from now and I highly recommend you to do the same in this workflow. Always check guide if you'll use the defaults and you won't be confused. Select area with the lasso tool, black color is active, press Ctrl or Command plus F to fill. I will simply say fill from now, because you already know what keyboard shortcuts to use to fill. You don't need to pick the lasso tool again, it's still active after the fill action, which is very handy, you can draw extremely fast and easy. Select area, switch colors, press X, white color is active now as you can see, fill this area with white color. So what's happening here? Everything's very simple, black color makes holes, and white color covers these holes. Nothing more, just make sure that you've selected mask thumbnail. This is all that you need to know about layer mask for today. If you want to learn more about masking, don't hesitate to ask me in the comments below. Now what you can do is download this template for free by the link in the video description, open it and drag it to this artboard. Change size if you need and lock this layer. Select mask and draw a silhouette like this. You can move with the little steps. Select area, fill and continue with another one. It's nearly possible to do this with a mouse, but I highly recommend you to use a tablet. After this, simply fill what's left. Lock silhouette layer and create a new layer on top of template. Rename it to fur. Pick dark color and fill these patterns as I show. Don't be too precise. And now it's time to add details. Watch my process and learn how to do this. I'll use only a few hints over and over. By the way, you can already delete template layer. Draw a pattern by making a selection with the lasso tool and press Ctrl or Command plus X to delete it. If you don't like how it looks, make a selection and fill it. 
I use navigator window to stay close to details and still see full picture. Click on window and select navigator. Adjust this window like this. I also press F to change view and work full screen. You don't need to press F again. Press tab to see all needed panels. I remind you that you can download a file with all keyboard shortcuts that are used today by the link in the video description. Take your time, don't rush. Each small pattern must look good. You can press Ctrl or Command plus Z to undo if you want. Hold space and use the hand tool to navigate. What I also always do is zoom out and zoom in. Simply press Z for zoom tool and drag your pen to the left or to the right. Give yourself a break if you're feeling tired. You must enjoy the process to get really good results. Don't forget to press thumbs up and subscribe if you are not my subscriber yet. Now it's time to work with the silhouette. Duplicate mask layer and make it invisible. Press P for pen tool, in top left corner select path, and in this menu you can adjust color to easily see it. Start to create path like this. Pen tool is pretty basic. Hold Alt and drag a handle to make a sharp corner, and hold Ctrl or Command to use direct selection tool and move points. Close path and open path panel. Hold Ctrl or Command and click on the Path thumbnail. Then in Layers panel, select Mask and press Ctrl or Command plus Shift plus I to invert selection. Make sure that black color is active and fill this selection. Right-click on Mask thumbnail and select Apply Layer Mask. Then flatten these layers. To do this, press Ctrl or Command plus E. After this, make Mask copy layer visible. Press Ctrl plus I to invert and apply mask here also. Select mask copy layer and then click on create a new adjustment layer. Select solid color. For now we can pick random colors. Then hold Alt or Option key and click between these two layers. We just made a clipping mask. Now we'll create separate layer for each color group. Apply solid color and a clipping mask. For example, create a new layer for nose, make a selection, fill, apply solid color, and make a clipping mask. In this case, make a huge selection, fill it with color, then hold Ctrl or Command and click on Mask Copy Layer Thumbnail. Press Ctrl or Command plus Shift plus I to invert selection, select Full Sides layer, and press Delete. Then continue with all other color groups. After this, search for color palettes in Google, save them and try as many as you want. Let me show you how to use a color palette. Open it and drag like this. Then make a tiger window active, double-click on each color fill layer and simply pick needed colors. I've created 28 color variations. I personally like number 2, 23 and 26, and which one do you like the most? If you learned something new from this tutorial, drop a comment below, 
Let me know if everything was clear enough for you and what you liked about this video. If you enjoyed this tutorial, support this channel by clicking on subscribe and what's most important by clicking on the bell icon to get notifications about newest tutorials from TNT. I would also appreciate if you will click thumbs up and will share this video. This was TNT Tutorials. See you next videos.